For the next several problems, when we find the indefinite interval, it gives us a hint that we will need to use substitution on these problems. So the first thing we want to do is we want to look at the integrand. We want to look at what we're integrating. And we want to find the most complicated part. And we want to let that be u. So I'm going to let u equal the square root of x plus 2. If we do that, then we can rewrite the integral as u divided by. And then we have some extra stuff floating around. Looks like square root of x times dx. So that's basically the same thing as 1 over x, because this is in the bottom of the fraction. So let's write u. Let's rewrite u. That's x to the 1 half power plus 2. So that when we find du, so the derivative of u, would be 1 half x, and then reduce the power by 1, so raised to the negative 1 half power. And of course, the derivative of 2 would be 0. So then we have our dx. All right. Um, what we have doesn't look quite like the extra part we have floating around. So let's get rid of that 1 half. In order to do that, we can multiply both sides by 2. So let's multiply both sides of this equation by 2. So we get 2 du, I'm going to write that, I think I'm going to write that in green. So I get 2 du, so 2 times du equals, we get x to the negative 1 half power dx. And what we really have is we have a square root of x in the bottom of the fraction. So this right here is the same thing as 1 over the square root of x times dx. We think about it like that. This now matches exactly the extra part that we have floating around. We have square root of x in the bottom of the fraction, and then we have that multiplied by dx. So I can think about this as 1. And we're going to replace all of this extra with the 2 du. And of course, if, since we have it just over 1, then we don't really have to worry about the over 1. I could bring that constant of 2 outside of the integration symbol. And then we could just integrate u times du. OK, now this is pretty simple to integrate. We're going to add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, and then bring down the constant. Don't forget our plus c. OK, we could simplify a little bit. Uh, the 2's will cancel, so we're left with just really just u squared plus c. And of course, the last thing that we want to do is you want to go back to original variable. OK, so we're going to replace the u with what u actually represents. So I'm going to say u squared plus c. And we said u actually represents the square root of x plus 2. So I'm going to put into my parentheses the square root of x plus 2. And this would be our final answer. OK, remember that you can check this by using the chain rule. And this is the antiderivative of what we were given. So when I take the derivative of this, I should get back the original problem that I was asked to integrate.